So here we are two days later with the um, purple tie auto flowers. But uh, this is not the purple fly auto flowers you're looking at, obviously, my friends. But um, you guys remember I said I'm going to mix it separately just enough that um, I use it all because it goes all weird and chunky on me. So I've mixed in the proper amount of uh, cow mag. So I put about I put about 60 milliliters of cow mag and then I put about five five or six milliliters of fish shit. So and then I pH'd it to 6.2. And it's two days after the last update, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys in for a watering because um there's a little bit of purpling in some of the stems, and I noticed in some of them there's a little bit less. So I'm, I'm taking that it's, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see if we add a little cow mag, what will happen. So let's uh, head in there and give them a watering. All right, so we're back to the watering. I just fill it up with a milk container. I heard you guys in America don't even have milk containers like this, and there's no such thing as bag milk in America. Is that true? Somebody, little fun fact, you know, chime in below and let me know. Because uh, here in Canada, all the milk is in bags. And um, from what I can tell, that everyone in America is like, dude, what the hell? There's no milk things like this in America. It's all in cartons or um, bottles. So, which is really odd to me because I grew up with bags. So, but anyways, guys, we got the fish poop and all that. So, um, the little bubblicious is doing pretty good actually now. It's catching up. Now, do you guys see the little bit of purpling over here? It's a little less than this one. This one has a streak of it, but up here, none. So, um, and you can see the purpling in the back clone big time. For some reason, my clones, I've never taken clones and had them root like that and then act the way they're acting it's very um odd they just don't seem to want to grow or take even it's i don't know maybe i didn't let them root quite enough this time but i've done less roots than that even i've planted them where you can't even see any roots coming out of the cube but i just and i had a feeling like they've rooted and i've put them in and they've been just great and they take right off i've never had a clone ever that i've planted and acted like these ones at all like they're yellowing out they're going purple so maybe doing the organic mix right off the bat isn't quite the best for clones. I probably should give them a shot of actual feed just to um, top them up and get them back healthy and growing again. They were taken off the re-veg and they were taken. Um, I did re-veg it after flowering, so they act all weird. So I don't know, but uh, we'll have more updates in the future. I got lots more of these clones, but uh and water it the same way as usual, all around the edge. They're looking really good. I don't think I'm going to top these ones, guys. Woo, look at that soil sinking in quite a bit. That's okay, though. I told you guys that would happen. But, um... Maybe, I don't know if I'm going to top them, like I said, and um, I'm going to probably start implementing some training eventually here. So they're right on track, if you ask me. They're all looking beautiful. The reason I think that they're all so similar, too, and they're, they're growing at such the same rate is because when you mix all of that soil up in one big bin, you don't know. Like, one plant could end up with um, one quarter of... Um, worm castings in like three tablespoons for the whole pot of Gaia Green and then this one could end up with double the amount. You just don't know, right? Chances are you can mix it. If you mix it up really good, it's going to be pretty decent, but you still don't know. So I prefer to take the time and mix them separately like I showed you guys in the, the first video. And look at the results I'm getting, guys. It speaks for itself. So, you know, they're beautiful. They're super beautiful. I'm not going to make you guys watch all the other waterings like I do, just around the side, one liter, and that's it guys, and we'll be back at day seven, probably when I give it another watering, I'm just going really easy on the watering right now, and I will see you guys then. 
So we're going to give the auto flower some watering today. I'll show you guys the watering because um, I've only been giving these things water like twice a week, I believe. Like every three to four days. Um, but they're at the point now where I'm going to end up, I'm going to give them like, I'm going to give them one whole liter each. Um, we did put the fish, fish shit, <laughs> literally fish shit in, um, a week ago we gave it some, seven days ago now, I believe it was seven days ago. I'm going to have to start writing these things down. But, um, that's why I make these videos too, because then I can go back and look too. It really helps. Um, I only gave it a little bit, like half the dose or something. It said, I gave it four milliliters. So what I'm going to do is just give it three, two or three today. I'll give it three. And then I'm going to, um, do the recommended dose of this. So two milliliters per liter. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it, there's about six liters in there. I'm going to give it eight milliliters, guys. So it just in case you're trying to copy this, because like I killed these, I killed these things bang on, like uh, doing an excellent job with it. So we'll get that mixed up and I'll show you the water. Well, here we are at the present day, guys. Yeah, it's been a bad, sad day. Um, little Henry. Little Henry passed away. We had to take him in and get him put down. Like we woke up, he still hadn't used the bathroom, uh, and he, he couldn't breathe right, guys. And he was falling over, and it was the saddest thing I ever seen. I don't know why this this one is really affecting me so bad, but like I had um I had a beautiful little um Pomeranian. And we paid a lot of money for it. I had him for 10 years and, and he just ended up dying of heart disease. And I don't, I don't know, but none of them hit home as hard as this one did, guys. Like, it's, it hasn't been a good day. Like, the little guy was so young and we just paid 700 bucks to get him fixed. And then bang, he gets, they think he got sick, got something that caused a blockage. Which I don't even care about the money. Like, that's not the point, but it just sucks. Like, he was just starting his life, man. But, you know, we live and we die. So, just uh, keep that in mind, guys. To always try to stay positive and always look at the, you know, and always um, treat every day like it's your last, you know. Go ahead and throw a like on this video, guys. Like, you guys slacked on the last one on me. I don't know, YouTube's been taking likes again. Like, it dropped five likes all of a sudden last night. So, the last video didn't do so well. But, uh. Please like the video, guys. You know, I don't ask for donations. I don't ask for nothing. I don't even have a Patreon, nothing. All I ask for you guys is that uh, you support the channel by throwing down a like and a smiley face comment or, you know, a comment. It really helps. But anyways, guys, enough of all this um, depressing stuff. These are beautiful, you know. On the bright side, these plants are beautiful. I couldn't have done a better job than this you know like they are so amazing and they are on par now like look at these they stink more than any plants at this size that i've ever grown in my life guys like i can literally smell them right now like that strong kush smell ethos genetics are top notch look at how look at how similar they all are they're so consistent just like what it said on the bot on the box of seeds very consistent Bubblicious, oh man, I'm telling you, like I don't know how they stink this bad, but I've been bending the leaves down, guys. So what I'm doing today is we're gonna give it that water, that mix that I just showed you guys. We're gonna give it a whole liter each, and I started training this one. Now remember I told you guys in the past that's how I do it. So I'll I'll bend them over. So now all these ones that are on the sides, when you bend them over, they grow up, and now they all become main branches. So I didn't want to do too much to these plants at all. I haven't topped them, which I would usually top them. But since these are such high-end genetics and, and got such high hopes for these plants, I didn't want to do anything to risk sending them in a flower early. They're full three weeks now, 21 days old, and not a sign of flowering. Like, look at that. I can't get over how bad these stink. My God, this is going to stink up my whole place. Um, that one is not even two weeks. I think it's 13 days. I will have some time lapses to show you guys. The light I turned up a wee bit. It's probably about three quarters of the way full. 
I'll give you guys a backup shot like I always do. It's still hella high, guys. It's still hella high. But um, it doesn't need to be much lower. Like, they're getting a ton of light. But look at that. Not a single tip burn. Not a single mutated leaf. Not a single anything, guys. These are just beautiful. I absolutely nailed it with this grow. Nailed it. So like I said, if you follow the soil recipe, guys, you will not go wrong. You know, next week, make sure you tune in. I'm going to be showing you guys the next feeding. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Should I keep continuing to train them or just let them grow? Definitely, you can start implementing some leaf tucking. That's why these are all bent down. They were praying a lot more. I should have waited to the video. Like I've been bending, bending these all down. Because you see, all these ones you want... To catch up at the top right so you can do some leaf tucking like you see how that one's you know this is like uh super super low stress training bang now that's getting light you know just do some leaf tucking you can tuck leaves under look at that bam there you go you know now it's getting more light just um because they want to perk up and cover everything, right? So you can, uh, don't be afraid to, just be careful. If you break a leaf or two, it's not, that's not the end of the world. But yeah, so one watering, that's it, guys. I gave it one liter, um, as you guys seen, two days after the last update. And now I'm going to give it another liter each. I'll show you guys that quick and that'll be, that'll wrap it up. So guys, I put everything in the water like I said I was going to. Um, if you guys want to copy it, do one liter. And she goes. And now, you pretty much don't have to, uh, it'll cover the whole, the whole bottom, so. And that will be it for, like, three or four days. Once they're, once they fill out the entire pot, which they will, and, you know, let's say two or three weeks, they will be, they'll go up to, like, three, four uh, waterings a week, probably at the end, even up to uh, one liter a day. And imagine, they're two-gallon pots, just in case anyone missed that. Let me show you guys a little bit more of how I, I trained this one. I just slowly bent it over and used um, the wire. Look at how fat that stalk is. Whew. So what do you guys think? Should I top any? Should I um should I train all of them over? What do you guys think? Or just let them go? Let them get big. They're showing no sign of flowering. And if I can get these a lot bigger than most people's autos, and especially with this genetics get, then I think I'm on to what I think I'm on to. Because I um I think I might have figured out something. And, and I think I might have, have a good reason why most people why people's autoflowers go into flower early because you guys know i've had some that have gotten as massive and the veg i had one that veg for almost 10 weeks before it went into flower you guys have seen that and then i've had ones that literally went into flower after not even a week old and instantly they just instantly started flowering the only thing <laughs> but this big got like a 20 bag off of it so let me know what you guys think below that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for all your kind wishes and, and your prayers. You guys are awesome, man. You know, I, I don't even talk to many people out here on the street. And you guys have become like real friends. And you guys feel like you actually genuinely care, you know. So that's why I like talking to you guys. And that's why any new guys should click right there, right about now. And join the Green Magic family because we're a good family here. We're about helping people. So, you know, just go and hit right there and go watch some other videos. And get this video to 100 likes, guys. Within seven days, I'm going to give away a $100 visa. Love you guys. Until the next one, signing off.